Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Janae Shy. Today I'm going to be going over my wash and go routine. Um, so this is actually the second video I'm making. <laughs> it, it took me probably about two weeks to finally give up on my last video. Um, I don't know if it was issues that I was having or issues that YouTube was having, but I figured that I'd start from scratch. So I did want to completely get rid of the video, so we're going to incorporate that video into this one. This is going to be a sit down, I'm going to talk directly to the camera, explain to you guys exactly what I do, and then I'll just insert the clips from the previous video into this one. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so first thing I'm going to do is show you the products that I use. Typically when I start my wash and go routine, um, start off with super dry, uh, super frizzy hair. Um, I usually redo my wash and go routine, uh, I'd say once or twice a week depending on how dry my hair feels that week. Um, so the products that I typically use to start off clarifying my hair. I use the Aussie Moist shampoo and conditioner. That's the shampoo conditioner as well. It's always important to use shampoo and conditioner combinations um, rather than mixing and matching just because it's important to get your hair back to a level 7 pH which typically once you use both products together that's exactly what it does. Once you start mixing shampoos and conditioners, then it could throw your pH all over the place. Make it too alkaline, make it too acidic. We'll get into that at another time. All right, when I need to deep condition my hair, which I deep condition my hair twice a week. So when I deep condition it, I use my Mixed Chicks deep conditioner, and that's what works best for me. And also, it's important to just simply follow directions. So if it tells you to just leave it in your hair for three minutes, leave it in your hair for three minutes, rinse it out. That's how you're gonna get the best results. So that's my deep conditioner. Um, my leave-in that I use is my Kinky Curly Nut Today. This has been my staple. Um, I've been thinking about switching back to Giovanni's Direct Leave-In because um, I really like them and I kind of forgot why I stopped using it, but I kind of want to dabble a little bit more with that. Um, as far as styler, I use two stylers. My main styler is going to be my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And um, I like to switch out my products just so I don't hit that plateau where it stops working. And when I do that, I switch it over to this Curl Defining Smoothie also by Shea Moisture. So that's that one. Okay, now when I want to seal my ends, uh, this is usually what I'll do. I will tie my hair up in a towel and let it dry, and then I will put my Jamaican black castor oil on my ends. And that's how I do it. Okay, so and now we are going to get into the shower scene. <laughs> I wanted to show you exactly what I do, and typically in the shower is where it all happens. So right now I am rubbing conditioner into my hair just so I can properly detangle it. Um, I put about four, I don't know, I'd say four walnut size pumps into my hand. There you go, you can kind of see it there. Um, and I will rake that through my hair until I feel as though it is detangled enough. I'll rinse that out of my hair, the conditioner, and then I put in my leave-in conditioner, which once again, that's that kinky curly knot today. You're likely seeing me talk to my sister as well. She's recording me in the shower. Um, so once again, I go back in and I detangle even more just because I have the most tangled hair. Uh, and this is also how I define my curls. I do the rake method, the rake and smooth method. Uh, as my styler, uh, this time around I'm using the 
uh, curl enhancing smoothie and I just split my hair in half um, so I can get um, more product and less frizz. Lately I haven't been too worried about frizz um, but my hair is extremely frizzy so this is how I combat that just a little bit but other than that I don't really mind frizz too much. Uh, so I squeeze out the product, throw my hair side to side, scrunch, 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 um, just to give my hair more movement and volume. And I do this for a little bit until I feel as though um, I'm all set to go. Um, after that, I'll typically throw my hair up, as I'm doing here, <laughs> and finish taking my shower. All right. So after my shower, I will uh, throw my hair up in a towel or a t-shirt. Like I said, this is a t-shirt. Done with that. Um, I will pick my part this day. I chose a side part. Um, so there's that. And this water mixture is actually Jamaican black castor oil in water. And I'll spray that on my edges and just on any part of my hair that's really, really Spraying the driest part of my hair, which is my edges. It's kind of one of my problem areas. Going back in with that Jamaican black castor oil, and that is what I'm putting on my ends as well as my edges, just for thickening purposes. Oop, there you go. <laughs> Rub that in my hands and apply to the edges. And there we go. I will now uh, diffuse my hair. I typically um, air dry my hair, but for time's sake, I wanted to get out of the house as quick as possible this day. So I hopped in with a diffuser. But I switch in and out between using a diffuser and air drying my hair. And here are the results. My hair is about 70% dry, which is when I stop using the dryer and I'll let the rest air dry. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my wash and go routine. If you have any questions regarding curly hair, natural hair, um, I'm in cosmetology school right now, so any questions regarding hair, I'm more than enthusiastic about getting back to and answering. So definitely leave any comments or questions or just what you think of the video. Leave comments down below. Like the video if you want some more. And I'll also leave my information for my Snapchat and Instagram. Unfortunately, I don't have Twitter. I've been thinking about starting one. Who's to say? But thank you guys so much for checking out my video. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.